Here's a video regarding to cooling towers. Uh, if you have high head pressure, you go to your pump that's pumping the water to the cooling tower. Uh, make sure your screen, which is inside this piece here, is drained regularly and checked if it's clogged. Uh, you either take it apart on a scheduled basis or you can actually feel the temperature from one side to the other side with your hands on both sides and you determine if the temperature is the same. If it's a big difference, then you probably have a clog in there. Now regarding makeup water for your cooling tower, I have a solenoid right here that's linked with a float in the cooling tower. So when the water is low, it'll add water to it. But sometimes I don't know if that's working. So what I did is I put one of these indicator lights. So when I see that light kick on, then I know this is opening up, allowing water to go through. Now, if I don't have no water coming through, then that means I have a clog somewhere. And to get around that, I installed one of these guys, which is a screen inside in line with the water makeup and I put two gauges so I can compare the, the pressure. If the pressure drops then I know there's a clog so I clean out that screen because you want to prevent any debris to get into the solenoid. If not you have to take that apart and clean it up. Now if you still have problems with high head pressure you got to go into the cooling tower. Sometimes the, the manifold gets clogged, the pipes get clogged, the, the spray nozzles get clogged and you might, you might need to go inside and take it apart and clean them out. Uh, lots of times those pipes up in the cooling tower just end on a cap. You can cut those caps off, they're PVC pipes, and install a clean out, which is what I did. So every you know, season you can open up those clean outs, flush out the system, make sure there's any debris in there, you can clean it out, and you'll have less problems with uh, your cooling tower. It's very important that you also use chemicals to keep that water clean from rust, from any kind of bacteria, and preventive maintenance is the key to keeping your cooling tower working properly. Thanks for watching.